PA12 with your Mio XM. Uh, you can do it directly through an Ethernet cable, uh, Cat5 e and above, Cat6, Cat7, whatever. And uh, the PA12 then would be connected USB to your computer. Um, you could also go through a switch as well. Um, I'm currently going through a switch where both the PiAudi 12 and the Mio XM are connected to an Ethernet switch and they can talk through that way. Um, that way it's nice if you're adding more devices and computers and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but for now, we can just do it this way. So basically the first thing we want to do is we want to make a network connection between them. So the Play Audio 12 is limited to uh, four network sessions. So I just, I'm in Oracle X. Uh, if you want to download that, it'll be in the description. And so we went to the RTP network MIDI. So we're going to click on that. And so it has just the four sessions. Um, so, and it has a lot more ports than that. Um, and then MioXM definitely has more ports than that. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to kind of condense some things and channelize them if we want to connect a lot of stuff. If you want to connect only four things and it's on the XM, then it's perfect. Um, but if not, then you're going to have to do some channelization, that kind of thing. Standardly, what I like to do is I like to take the first one and make that all the connection to all the DIN ports on my Mio XM, and then the second one and make it to all the host ports. Just a preference of mine. It helps keep the thing kind of separated. Um, that's what I like to do. It also leaves two more ports open. If you want to do a second XM and do the DIN and host, you can do that as well. Uh, you can put everything through a single port if you wish. It's totally up to you how you want to take this in and do this. Um, but we're going to have to do some routing modifications on the XM anyway you kind of choose to do this. So like I said, let's create the network connections first. So like I said, I'm going to connect two. I'm going to connect one for all the DIN ports and one for all the host ports. So I'm going to go back here. We're going to go over to our Mio XM, uh, 007, because uh, I get the cool serial number like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little name right here. And I'm going to copy that, and I am going to go back and go to my Play Audio 12, go to RTP Network. Uh, note that it's best to have these both plugged in uh, via USB as well for this initial setup so that the XM shows up easily. Once they're connected, the XM will actually show up through the PA12 connection um, in Oracle X. But initially, you want to connect them both via USB. Um, so what I have here is we got responder. Uh, we're going to change that to initiator. So if you click on this, you can click on initiator. We're going to put in the name that we just copied from the XM into here, into this name section. Um, so make sure you select a name and not IP, which is the default. And then we're going to click save. And now we should see a connection show up here. There you go. And if you go back and go over to your XM, you'll also see that it's connected right there. So that's all we have to do for that one. Uh, the names are going to be the same by default, except for the last number. Um, but I'm going to copy it since I'm already here. And we're going to go back to the Play Audio 12, switch to Initiator, and paste in there, hit Save. So now we've created two connections, which is the first part that we need. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the XM and make sure that all the ports are going in and out of those two RTP sessions. Uh, so if we go to MIDI routing, we might want to go to, looks like I already typed some things in here. Uh, we want to go to say DIN 1 here and we're going to make sure it's going to RTP 1. Uh, it's automatically going to go to the USB as well if you ever connect USB to this device, but we don't need that for this setup. In order to stage, we're actually going to deselect from RTP2 which is the default and go to RTP1. This one right here which is DIN3 we're gonna deselect RTP3 and go to 1 and DIN4 same we're gonna go to 1 because we want all our DIN going to RTP1. Then we're gonna scroll down a bit and we're gonna find USB hosted device slash instrument and we're gonna go to host 1 here and I'm gonna deselect RTP1 Five, which is the default, and we're going to put all our host ports on RTP2. And this should just take a second. Let's 
So basically what we've done now is we've created all the devices connected to your MaxM is now going to those two RTP ports which are connected to the Play Audio 12. Now what we have to do is we have to go to the Play Audio 12 and tell them to go to the computer from those two RTP ports. Um, so if we go back to the Play Audio 12 and we go into our MIDI routing, we can take a look at this. So we're going to go down and we're going to go to network. So the first one which is all your DIN ports, um, is automatically routed to RTP1. So what some people might want to do is you might want to go in here, rename it from RTP1 to uh, XM DINs. And then we can go to second one here, and it goes to RTP2. And you might want to go XM host. Now in order to get that name to show up on your computer properly, you're going to want to actually um, check out the other video in the description showing you how to do that on Windows and or Mac. It's a little different. You have to force the computer to rescan. Um, but for now, we're just going to put those names in there. Also, we've done this on Jack 1, which is Computer 1 on Scene A. Uh, but you also want to do this for Scene um, B or computer 2 so make sure you're going on to jack 2 you can see it's selected the same on both of them so should be easy to find it we can just rename it and then the first one you can see XM DINs is renamed now we can go down to this one which is still named by RTP1 and call it the same make sure that you name these exactly the same so that when you copy over your like Ableton sessions or your Pro Tools sessions, whatever sessions that you're copying over to make it redundant, that the second computer has the exact same name showing up. And then when you copy over, you're not going to have to reconnect all the different ports in the sessions. So just a little trip and uh, trick for you. Um, yeah, if you if you name them differently, then it's, you're going to have to remap all the MIDI, which is uh, not as fun. But that's how you would do it. Um, so that's all set up now. We can actually send in and out of host ports or DIM ports on the Mio XM in through the PA12 to both computers um, set up to the PA12 via USB. Um, the only other thing you'll have to do is you'll have to channelize gear that's on the host ports of the Mio XM or the, uh, or the DIN ports on the Mio XM. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you'll have to check the manufacturer's manuals for the different gear that you have connected. Um, you can also do some remapping if you need. If if multiple devices are stuck on, say, channel 10 or channel 1, um, then you will need to do some remapping, which is a different video, a different day, a different topic. Um, but if you need info on that, you can always connect us uh, at support. Thanks.